can't believe it's been it's been a year uh, since I've had this issue with my bloating uh, and I can't believe I'm doing another video but a lot of you are still also struggling and I wanted to share my journey because I'm still also struggling so obviously I'm in Mexico right now over here and um, I went to see a gastrologist even though I actually haven't seen a gastrologist before uh, so I decided to go and check out the doctors here anyway I'm living here now so I thought I might as well so I went to see two different doctors one was like an official doctor who just tested me you know so we decided to check to do a scan called cat scan i don't know if any of you already tried he says that i can potentially have something called div diverticular disease diverticular i don't know if i'm saying it right anyway um we don't know for sure it's basically in your lower colon which causes inflammation and from googling it um <laughs> What I understand, it means there are holes in your colon that could be caused by many, many things. And basically, every time you eat or whatever, and the food gets into these like little holes, uh, you get inflamed, hence you get bloated. So I don't know, it sounds weird, um, but it's a really expensive scan to do, but it is worth it, I think. And he said, you know, at least we eliminate that option if we don't have it. And then um, if we don't have it, then he suggested to do another col colonoscopy. As you know, I did colonoscopy in Latvia about, well, about nine, ten months ago. And I had a really traumatic experience. Um, those of you who follow me, you know that in Latvia, <laughs> the hospital I went to to do it, which, you know, I didn't know. Um, I thought I'll be asleep, but I wasn't asleep. Uh, I, I don't know if they give me like a really small dose of, of sleeping things. So I was kind of like, I was fully awake, but I could feel everything. So I was like very dizzy, but I felt everything. And, uh, you know, I did colonoscopy and endoscopy at the same time. And I passed out from the pain. I was like screaming. Um, and so they had to stop the procedure. And obviously I fainted. So I don't really remember much. Um, I just obviously I fainted from the pain so I've had like a really traumatic experience and even now like I still haven't recovered from that experience it's been really traumatic so you know if I'm gonna do another colonoscopy I need to make sure I'm like fast asleep and uh, I don't feel nothing so so that that would be kind of like the next step well, back to square one with my gut so I've been given by the doctor all these tablets um you know to take for a week this one's for 10 days i did try google them what they mean um i'm using like google translate but from my understanding like this one is the only english one i understand it's like to treat you know um stuff you know with the stomach basically h pylori infection um I don't know yes it's really interesting he's given me tablets even though i don't know if i even have this but this one's something to do with h pylori this one to do something with your colon or digestive tract this one to do with something else if any of you know more about these you can obviously leave the comments down below to let me know obviously i'm going to take them now i did think about it if i should take them or not because i'm not a big fan of pills but i'm going to trust the doctors and um yeah so yeah so he said i might have diverticular like, disease he also sent me to do more blood tests urine tests and just uh to check you know and then the gastrologist that i went to yesterday he's um sent me to do some poop tests <laughs> very exciting can't believe i'm talking about this on social media this is what it got to but um you know this is life right <laughs> so yeah i have to do that and we're also gonna do um abdominal test so it's like an ultrasound i have done an ultrasound before in latvia and they didn't find anything but this ultrasound is like a different one i forgot the actual name so they're gonna test my belly i can't eat or drink water for eight hours and then after they test me with ultrasound i have to go away eat something whatever i want for an hour come back and they do another test to see how I guess my you know whatever is is reacting so and this doctor said that I have um oh god I forgot the name of this another type of like this 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 whatever another sort of, sort of illness disease 
Um, so it's really interesting. Both of these doctors suggested I have something different. Um, but I've never heard of these before. So I thought I'll go ahead. And they prescribed me all these tablets that I need to take. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, what can I say? You know, I'm really frustrated. I'm tired. I'm frustrated of this whole situation. Um, because I did see, you know, as you saw my progress, I was getting better with a naturopathic doctor. Um, he did heal my allergy. It's completely gone. However, my bloat is not. Uh, I'm still in a permanent bloating state. Uh, like right now, I'm fine. You know, I'm, I'm just so used to this bloating. Like it's always bloated, but it doesn't cause me like discomfort. It's only if I touch it, I have pain or, you know, sometimes I have pain, but generally it's fine. But it, it is really frustrating and it's really, really sad how many people struggle with this. I still get daily messages on social media. I still get a lot of your comments. I still get so many people that are saying to me like, oh, it's been five years. I don't know. I still haven't figured it out. And that's really depressing for me because I have been, you know, I've spent so much time and energy and money on this in the last year trying to figure it all out. And I know that it's not just one element now about, you know, my gut being inflamed, you know, it's stress, it's sleep, it's, it's your know, emotional state. So I am actually tackling all these other areas as well, you know, and, and that's why I'm here in Mexico and I really feel less stressed than when I was in London. And I'm working, you know, emotionally as well, trying to figure out if there's any trapped emotions. Cause here in Mexico, it's really funny. They all kind of just say, <laughs> they do actually say it's all in your head uh which you know i'm i'm just in a good mood in a way so i'm not taking it personally but it did reach a stage where i just started getting pissed off like stop telling me it's in my head it's in my bloody body it's in my body like it's not in my head but they were just saying like it's like emotions like anger sadness whatever maybe emotions that you haven't actually lived through so they all live in your stomach and your lower abdomen and basically if you let it all go the blow is gonna go and i'm a big believer about emotions and i i, I think there is truth to it but i also think there's also science and there's a medical side to it so i think maybe a combination of these two together could work magic and that's what i'm essentially doing uh, I'm also going to start working with another gut health and emotional eating person. Um, uh, she's like an expert. She had bloating herself. And we're going to work together on all these elements basically for the next three months. Uh, you know, including my morning routine, evening routine, chakras, which I don't know anything about. But I was like, you know what? I'm open minded, um, energy and you know, different types of food elimination, introducing things, um, you know, using a diary of how I feel every day. So really, really tracking everything um, and seeing, you know, hopefully we're gonna get rid of this whole thing and I can happily have my, my beautiful flat stomach back and not feel pain anymore. And um, I'm just generally so tired of this situation, but I decided not to give up. So that's kind of my update. Um, let me know. I did have an episode two weeks ago where it insanely bloated and I was in a lot of pain. I had to cancel all my plans and I actually spent two days in bed. Uh, literally wasn't able to move. So I really don't wish this upon anybody. It's really, really annoying. Um, but at the same time, I think, you know, I've been under a lot of stress in the last two years and I think I just need to give my body time to readjust and get back to normal state. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful. Maybe if you haven't gotten tested yourself for these things that I mentioned here today, maybe do go ahead and do get tested. Uh, and anyone who's struggling as well, I am just so sorry you're in this position because I know how frustrating it is. I still am struggling myself, but I'm so determined to figure out what it is. And as soon as I do, I'm going to tell you, of course, because I want to help you guys as well. So that's why I'm literally doing everything I can and um yeah try and i feel like i'm gonna get to the bottom of this like i'm not giving up all right and you shouldn't either so if you're if you're hearing this video if you're hearing this message just kind of give yourself a break and just keep going there is an answer i'm sure for it like we just can't just accept it can't just live with the bloat forever like no way no way i refuse to accept that 
Um, okay, well, let me know if any of you have found anything that worked for you or if there's anything else that, you know, you've tried. Obviously, if you are new to my channel and you're watching this first time, uh, please do watch my other videos. I have tried a lot of stuff. Um, this is like one year in the making, <laughs> figuring it out. Um, okay, guys, love you loads. Bye.